Your trading yes. was, session was very impressive. Was it? Yes. Can Thank you. you. Can you tell me your, your impressions? Yeah. Being up here? Yeah, trading with Alistair. Trading with Alistair was great. He was a bit uh, tentative. I was surprised, really. I thought that he had thrown himself into it with more gusto, but perhaps he was slightly intimidated, which is understandable, because obviously Malcolm Tucker, whom I play, is much tougher than Alistair Campbell, as I've discovered today. But yes, no, it's nice to be up here. I'm surprised it's so quiet. I thought it was going to be like one of those mad films when you see the trading floor, everyone screaming and throwing <laughs> things around, and, uh, but it's very, very uh, relaxed. Is this your first time in a trading First show? time ever, yeah, yeah. I thought they'd ring a bell and everyone would go crazy, but they seem quite calm. What tips do you have for all those guys here trading? I don't have any tips for them because I have no idea what they're talking about. They uh, they could be speaking ancient Egyptian, as far as I'm concerned. I look at those screams, I, those screams. I have no idea what they say. It's um, it's, it's a whole different world. Can you calculate how much money you you gathered so far? I'm sorry, we can't. I have no idea. That it's too early. What's the money for? The money is for Bernardos. The models. The money that we are raising today is for Bernardos, oh, yeah. which is we just thought we've made 350 million. 350 million, thank goodness for that, yeah, for Bernardos. We hope. I'm yes. Sorry, we can't release trade. That. We can't release that. That was a joke. Okay. <laughs> Any information? No figures at all. Okay. No figures. All right. I think you're the most impressive couple here who was trading together. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps we should set up a company. Okay. Thank yes. you. So where was the skill from? I think we were just very direct. Yes. Very direct, yes. and we've said to the bankers what we thought of them. That's but right. Do you think that's one of the most important character traits in order to be good traders, direct? No, um, I think these guys have just got to be very sharp. Yeah. They look sharp to me. Yeah. Yeah, and have and, and tough, hard. Yes. Could you imagine uh, having a job like this? Mm, for five minutes. Yeah. I think we're, we're, I'm too old for this. I don't think I could handle it for more than oh, they're very 10 old. minutes. Look at, them. look at these two, they're really old. Oh, bloody old. I'm yeah. <laughs> but look at, yeah, as <laughs> a, they're not fair, don't I? I mean, look at me. Yeah, but you ain't got any hair. I mean, See, that's that, the there's a lovely country. trader there. There's one lovely trader. Look, there she is. Look at that smile. It's nice to see a lady <laughs> trader. Very unusual. <laughs> so it right. is a good environment. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Right. it's okay. a nice view. 2012 for you, what was the best moment? Uh, the best memory of 2012? All over there. Yeah. All at the Olympic Park. Amazing, just the ever. whole thing. The whole, the, the whole summer of the Olympics and the Paralympics was just one of the best things that's ever happened to this country. I can't believe how positive it's made people feel and how good they've felt about what people are capable of, which is wonderful. Who's going to be a national hero? Yep. From the Olympics? Oh, it kind of depends on how they behave now. What do they need to do to become national heroes? Uh, no, there are, some of them are national. Chris Hoy is a national hero already, I'd say. Uh, I think Jessica Ennis has got the potential to be. Mo Farah has got the potential to be. David Weir has got the potential to be. They all have, but all I'd say is when they're trading cash and reputation, always go for reputation. So it kind of depends on what they do now. But I'll tell you what, with this year's Sports Personality of the Year, they should, they should devote the whole week to it because you've got... Andy Murray winning a Grand Slam would normally be home and dry. Bradley Wiggins winning the Tour de France would be home and dry. Jess Ennis, Mo Farah, Greg Rutherford, David Weir. The, the, there's dozens that you could choose from. And so there'll be lots of heroes, but one or two will go awry. You watch. Talking about reputation, attending events like this, it's suppo I suppose it's good for the reputation. Yeah. Can I just say that my Olympic heroes, Paralympic heroes, would be my retired neighbor, Zine and Viv, who were volunteers and who worked all the way through the whole thing for nothing. I, and thought, I thought you were going to say that they watched every single second no, of no, the television. No, no, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> you watched everything on television? No, I didn't. I see the funny thing is, I don't like sport. I'm not interested in sport. I'm a guy who wears a cravat and a fedora usually. I don't, you know, I don't enjoy sporting events. But the whole spirit of the whole thing was so positive that I thought, this is wonderful. And I loved it. 